Good morning, welcome to day three of Lent, so our third reflection based on the Live Lent resources provided by the Church of England. I want to read a passage from Matthew chapter four, uh, which may be fairly familiar. It says this starting in verse 18. One day as Jesus was walking along the shore of the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon, also called Peter, and Andrew, throwing a net into the water, for they fished for a living. Jesus called out to them, come, follow me, and I will show you how to fish for people. And they left their nets at once, and they followed him. It's a really simple story about the beginning of Jesus growing that group of disciples that then followed him throughout his life. Yesterday, one of the things I encouraged you to do was to think about your favourite stories. Uh, to think about your favourite stories just in terms of fiction, but then also to think about your favourite story in terms of the Bible. I wonder what the qualities were for you in those stories that were your favourite. I think one of the common themes for anyone when they're looking at stories and why they're so good is stories they invite you in, they make you part of the story. I know some of the best novels and some of the best fiction books that I've read uh, have been uh, so descriptive and so engaging. They've invited me into the story almost as if I'm in the story myself. That's the art of a good story, the art even of a good film if it's been turned into a motion picture. Good news yesterday, there's going to be a Paddington 3 uh, and those films and certainly even the books as we're reading with Samuel, they invite you in. Jesus in the story of the gospel invites the disciples into his life. He invites them to come and follow him in a story. He doesn't say you must come and do this and that and this and you must learn that and you must understand this and you must obey all these rules. He says just come and follow me and experience the story of God on earth among his people. Jesus offers that same invitation to us. He says come as you are with all your baggage, with everything that belongs to you, and follow me, and follow me in the journey. The story of Jesus is a story that begins with God's creation and continues through human wanderings towards and away from God and reaches its dramatic peak in the coming of Jesus. The key word in Jesus' invitation is follow. Walk in my footsteps, Jesus says, and make my story your story. That's the greatest thing about the Christmas Christian story. To make God's story our own and to live out that story. And here, right at the beginning, Jesus makes clear that the, accepting the invitation is about following him, about seeing what he's doing, and actually about copying all that he has to offer. So this journey of Lent, Jesus says, come, follow me. You may have been doing that for many years and once more Jesus says, come follow me again. Draw close to me, learn new things. But he, you may never have followed him and you might be wondering, is it worth it? You might be thinking, no, I can't bother. Uh, I can't do that, there's too much of a risk. Or you might be thinking, If I try it, I wonder what might happen. Jesus says, come, follow me. See what happens. What have you got to lose? Follow him and allow him to lead you, to shape you and to invite you into his story even more. I'm going to pray. You can join in if you want. Lord Jesus, thank you for the story of God into which you invite each of us. Help us to understand that story more fully this Lent and to live it out each day. Amen. I'm off to uh, church office today to do some admin. Uh, Whatever you're doing, stay safe, take care. God bless.